Okay guys, so this is a 100% voiceover makeup video and I've already applied my hard candy primer and let it sit for one minute. It's the Instant Blur Selfie Approved Primer. I let it sit for a minute and now I am applying my Maybelline Matte Fit Me Foundation in my shade. And I started doing this new thing that I heard about from other YouTubers where you start in the middle of your face with your foundation so you can spread the foundation outwards because they claim that that's the best way to apply your foundation. So I've been doing that in the last couple days. And so far I really like the results. They say it prevents any streaking from happening or any blotches or just fake lookingness so I've been doing that where you just apply it in the middle of your face so like in the nose or cheek area and then just start to brush outwards or blend outwards if you're using a beauty blender or some sort of sponge I do have gum in my mouth don't mind me but um, yeah, I'm just distributing that over my face. And again, this is lightweight coverage. So here I'm applying my under eye concealer as well as my highlight for my face. So I'm using the Tarte Cosmetics concealer right here. And then I'm also going to blend that in with a more toned down, true to my skin tone concealer, which is the Matte Velvet Makeup Forever concealer. So I'm blending those two together to make like the perfect shade for me. And yeah, I'm going in for the highlight on my face with the forehead and the nose. And I'm just gonna blend this stuff in. I'm also going in under my cheekbone to give more of a chiseled, slim look to the face. You know, the contour situation. That's what I've got going on. And I'm just gonna start blending soon enough with my Bobbi Brown compact which also has foundation in it the powder foundation which I'm going to be using shortly here I'm just applying my eyeshadow from my palette it's like a nude peachy kind of reddish color applying my eyeshadow now before I start doing the lashes or possibly liner. I think I'm just going to do lashes since this is a soft rosy look and this really brings out the rosy accent to the look. The eyeshadow and then also the bronzer is going to really bring that rosy look to the end results. So I'm just blending in all my concealer, my under eye, my under eye concealer so that it looks nice and refreshed and blended in. And then I'm going to blend in the rest here in a minute. Making sure everything is blended in evenly like I'm supposed to with my foundation brush and this is a great brush to use as well I can't put my finger on the exact company that it's from but it's an awesome foundation brush definitely invest in good brushes guys so here I'm applying a light layer of powder foundation from the brand Bobbi Brown it's their lightweight skin wear luminous foundation. This is just the powder in the shade Golden 6. And it's really lightweight coverage. You can of course build on it, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave it at one layer. 
because my goal is to mattify but I also want to keep it lightweight so we're doing that now and just blending it in So now I'm applying my bronzer onto the cheekbones. This is not only going to slim the face up and really give it a nice contour and make it look thinner, but it's also going to really add to the rosy accent. The whole goal of the look, the whole point of it, soft, rosy makeup. So we're obviously using neutral nude tones and this is one of those tones. It's obviously got like a reddish accent to it, so it's a brownish reddish look and it gives that rosy color to the side cheek area without being too obvious we're going to blend everything out and make it look subtle but this really adds that accent to the look it's an official necessary step so the bronzer was a great addition and then as you can see i made a little boo-boo with my eyebrow <laughs> my eyebrow mascara wand. I got some of it on my forehead, so I'm just cleaning that up now. I'm just going back in to refresh my eyeshadow in that nice nude rosy color. I'm just really making sure that it is subtle but pops. And now I'm moving on to the lips. So I'm going to keep it pretty natural, but I'm just going to line my lips with this color called Soft Rose. How much of a coincidence is that? But anyways, yeah, it's called Soft Rose, and I'm just going to line my lips with that and then put a lip balm on. And I know that's going to keep it nice and hydrated. So they're lined in this nice rosy color, which really brings out even more of a like rosy shade without having the full lips covered in lipstick or anything so I like how the liner just adds that pop now I'm gonna go in with my mascara and this is the better than sex mascara and we're just going to get the eyelashes popping it's obviously not popping in the way that false lashes do I love a good set of false lashes but you know this is still a cute look it doesn't compete at all with false lashes, but they still come out pretty good. I'm adding highlighter to the inner corners of my eyes right here, which I know really brightens up your look and makes you look more awake and just adds a really refreshed new remix to your look. So I always like to do that little inner eye highlighter thing. Yeah, I'm just retouching on the eyelashes and then I'm gonna go back in and retouch up my eyebrows a little bit as well with my brow wand and the color light brown and that was the final touches. I'm finished with my makeup look. It's done. This is the soft, rosy, light coverage makeup look. Okay guys, so this was very bare minimum makeup, but we've got some pretty moderate coverage and this is our chill, soft, rosy makeup look. We didn't go too crazy. There's obviously no bright colors, no bright blue, no bright green. And that's the goal for this. So thanks for getting ready with me. And I will be sure to put the main products that I used below in the description. Uh, this, where is it? In the description, uh, this, this, concealer it has been a lifesaver for me it's the makeup forever matte velvet concealer and it's crazy because it costs less than the Tarte concealer and even though I've been using them together and this is a great one 
This one's even better and it's closer to my skin tone and it's more affordable. So the Makeup Forever Concealer Matte Velvet is one that I would definitely jot down on my list if you don't have it. And it's a great under eye concealer to use and it blends very easily. Um, as well as one of the fan faves, the Laura Mercier setting powder. And again, all this stuff will be in the description. Thanks for watching and have a great day.